Securing your Windows VPS is vital. In fact, it is equal to keeping your VPS live on a public network. This is a basic step that most website owners miss. Security is the next logical step after purchasing your Windows VPS hosting and obtaining your VPS login credentials. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, and today let's go over a few common safety precautions for Windows VPS. The first thing you can do is to disable default administrator account. Then create a new user with administrator permissions. On your desktop, right click on your start menu, click on run, and this time let's type in lusrmgr.msc. When you click OK, it's going to display this local users in groups. By default, your Windows VPS hosting provider installs the OS and creates an administrator account for you. The drawback here is that your account can be easily attacked. The attack is usually by bots trying to log in with brute force. Well, this is easy and simple to prevent. You just have to disable the default administrator account, then create a new user with full administrative privileges. You can create a new administrator account with random characters. It's bad leaving it as up. For instance, you can go with administrator name dash company name, like in our case, Ashley dash Casby. Here you can jump into groups to provide that particular account that you just created with all the permissions that it needs on the server. Next, choose a strong password for the administrator account. Although the need for a strong password is often overlooked, when securing your Windows VPS, it is primary. You should generate a strong password after securely changing the administrator username. Here is a guide. Ensure that your password is at least 10 characters long. Use lowercase and uppercase letters. And finally, combine numbers and special characters. Following this, you should also change the default remote desktop connection port. A remote desktop is required to access your desktop for your Windows VPS. On your desktop, you're going to right click Start Menu. We're going to go to Run. Within the run command, we're going to type in regedit.exe and hit enter. Within the reg editor, we're going to go to the following address, hkey local machine slash system slash server slash winstation slash rdp tcp, which points to the rdp tcp. So the first thing that we're going to do is to change your default remote desktop connection port. This Windows feature is run on default port 3389. Since the port is known publicly, it is open to brute force attacks. Hence, the easiest solution for securing Windows VPS is to change the default port. This way, your VPS is prevented from such attacks and abuse of your server resources. If you locate to the RDP TCP file and you locate to the registry key called port number, if you double click within it, by default, it will show you the hexadecimal form. But when you click on decimal, we have here 3389. We advise that you choose a random port number during the changing process. Next, install antivirus in your Windows VPS. The importance of an antivirus to secure your VPS is very clear. You can start with the essentials, a free and robust option by Microsoft. It auto updates itself with the last definition. It also offers real-time protection to your VPS. Antivirus protects you from almost all online security threats, which firewall cannot do. However, combining both is always best in securing your Windows VPS. Moving on to the fifth step, enable and activate Windows Firewall. If we click on the Start menu and type in Firewall, we can click on the Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Within here, you need to block incoming and outgoing ports. Now, there are some ports that you should have open by default, depending on what type of servers that you are running on. The default Windows Firewall normally comes with every Windows OS. Activating the firewall in Windows VPS server is another essential factor in increasing the security of the Windows virtual server, which allows you to block or unblock a specific IP. It prevents hackers and malicious software at the same time and filters information coming from the internet according to your settings. Finally, you're going to want to make sure that you update your windows regularly. This is one of the simplest ways to keep your server secure. Just simply put in the shortcut Windows I to open up the Windows settings. We're going to click on Updates and Security. You can either configure Windows Update to notify you when a new update is available or allow it to download and apply the update automatically. 
In short, just always make sure that your windows is up to date. Of course, there are many more ways than these six precautions that you can take. But these six steps are essential steps that you would want to ensure you carry out to secure your Windows VPS. Alright, that's all I have prepared for you today. Leave your comments down in the comment section below to let us know what you do to keep your Windows VPS secure. And as always, my name is Ashley and I thank you guys for watching. Bye!